What's going on my friend? It's your friend Jack here and in today's video I'm going to tell you why watching print on demand tip videos is killing your print on demand sales. By no means should you never watch print on demand videos but there comes a point where you actually need to sit down and do the work. You need to implement the things you are learning in these print on demand tip videos otherwise you aren't really learning much at all. You just have an idea of how something may work which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's not the most productive thing either. This is the point where most people are actually hurting themselves when watching print and tips and tricks videos because they aren't actually sitting down and doing the work to, you know, put the things they are learning into practice. And this concept applies more to, you know, other things in life too, not just print demands can be applied to just about anything where you can learn some advice or tips and tricks from someone else who has already done some of the hard work and you can take bits and pieces from that but ultimately you always need to basically form your own opinion and get your own experience by using their tips and tricks. Learning from other people is actually great but no one can give you the exact method that is going to work for you. No one can do that. Uh, most people can't even give the exact method that worked for them. So you're going to need to implement things and think things through uh, to see if the process will work for you specifically. Even if someone were to go back and retrace their own exact steps, 99% of the time, they themselves wouldn't get the same results that they're getting right now. So implementing tips and tricks uh, yourself makes it much easier to gain your own steps. You can find your own path because the more mistakes you make, the better you will be at making the right decisions down the line. The main point that I'm trying to get at here is by watching print demand tip videos, you reduce the amount of time you actually have to not only do the work, but think clearly for yourself. I'm not saying that you shouldn't watch print demand tip videos. I actually love watching other print demand videos while uploading or doing something that requires less thinking. What I am saying is that you need to implement things that you learn in order for them to be of any value to yourself. Otherwise, the things you are being shown will most likely just go in one ear and out the other. For example, many times I'll be watching a YouTube video and I will hear a tip or piece of advice that sparks me to be inspired. This feeling is an amazing feeling if you go ahead and you know pause the video, you go ahead, take action on the inspiration or idea, you write it down, you're left doing something out of curiosity rather than you know because you have to do something. But in this example, let's say I didn't pause the video. I didn't write down my idea that I was inspired from hearing something or I didn't go ahead and do the things I actually felt compelled to do. This is when that inspiration perishes. Inspiration will only last so long and if you do not use your inspiration sooner than later, it will run away and it will find someone else to go inspire. And inspiration comes in many forms, from an idea to a feeling or urge to do something. The best way to keep inspiration is to keep using it rather than letting it just pass you by or going in here and coming out the other. Because what you do not use, you often lose. It's very true. This could be an idea or a strong feeling, but either way, if you aren't using the ideas or strong feelings or the inspiration to do something, you're bound to end up on that cycle in one ear and out the other ear. The overall idea that I'm trying to give you guys is that you need to keep these inspirations by taking action on them or writing them down to revise later on so they're not just going in one ear and coming right out the other, you know, a minute, two minutes, an hour later. This way, you can take a step forward without actually taking a step back when the idea or feeling goes in one ear and doesn't exit through the other ear. I hope someone found this video helpful in one way or another. If you did, please form a smile upon your face right now and have a great day. With all that being said, it's been your friend Jack. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.